statements from system architect Mark Cerny suggest that almost full PS5 backwards compatibility confirmed before release. One of the most concerning issues whenever a new generation console is released is whether your last-gen games can be played on them. Whether it's for nostalgic reasons or you just don't want to feel that you have wasted money, backward compatibility is always an issue. Not being able to play your great last-gen game can be a downer, especially when you consider that great games continue to be released immediately before and following the next-gen console. For example, I am downloading Ghost of Tsushima as I write this article and given the size and scope of the game, I don't think I will be done with it when PS5 releases. Also, going back to some great games can be amazingly fun and nostalgic. I have been streaming the PS3 version of XCOM, Enemy Within through PS Now this week to great satisfaction. Something tells me that I may want to play Marvel's Spider-Man in a few years' time. So, when a company confirms backward compatibility with earlier titles, it is nothing short of exciting and relieving in equal measure. The PlayStation 5 system architect, Mark Cerny has revealed that most PS4 games will be compatible with PS5 at the console's launch. Your digital PlayStation 4 games library through PS Plus will be fully compatible with PS5 as long as you have an active subscription. Mr. Cerny also confirmed that should you purchase the larger PS5 capable of playing disc media, then your game discs will be fine with the console. PSVR is also said to be able to work with the PS5 and some games may even run faster and better through PS5's boost mode. As for earlier consoles such as PS2 and PS3, Sony has not yet confirmed their compatibility. However, using a PS Now subscription should run PS1, PS2 and PS3 games fine since they are streaming and aren't actually installed on the PS5. The fact that Sony has taken backward compatibility seriously this time around is excellent news for PlayStation fans and something that Microsoft got right with Xbox One. As good as our beloved PS4 titles such as Last of Us Part II, Spider-Man and Red Dead Redemption of I am confident there will be some seriously good games at the console's launch. Spider-Man, Miles Morales has already been confirmed as a launch title plus Cyberpunk 2077 and GTA 5 have been confirmed as getting free PS5 upgraded versions. Also, I suspect, as with PS4, we will get the almost obligatory remasters of classic PS4 games some time down the line of PS5's life. This could include Spider-Man and The Last of Us Part 2, but we can only speculate at this point. PlayStation 5 was revealed in a spectacular video game showcase held by Sony last month. The reveal event, dubbed The Future of Gaming, showcased new titles such as the aforementioned Spider-Man, Miles Morales Gran Turismo 7 and a new Ratchet and Clank installment. A surprise reveal however was that there will be two versions of the machine. One version will be digital only while one will contain a 4K Blu-ray player for disc media. Since the event, any news or information concerning PS5 has gone into overdrive and Sony has reportedly had to double production output due to the new console's expected high demand. Even though we now know almost everything about the machine, Sony still has yet to confirm a price. The PlayStation 5 release date is also yet to be confirmed but is said to be sometime this holiday season.